party guys so i'm here with a brief interview with coach waits for prior to the game tomorrow night first home playoff game since 2005 you were still a qb's coach um kind of tell me through that no it was exciting back in brookhaven 2005 um you know and we took on brookhaven had a great playoff game here and you know our quarterbacks of course played really well that game and it was a fun exciting night for the community of grove city and that's and that's what we're looking forward to tomorrow Absolutely. So, one of the things I talked with um, Scooney and Howard about was how Davidson in a playoff game was different than Davidson in the regular season. Um, like I said with you earlier, um, or with them earlier, I should say, um, I talked to them about how in the regular season you said that every game is the most important game. However, you're, you're, you're taking on a Davidson team that you guys know this result very well. Week two, um, you co they come into our house and then obviously what happened happened. So what did you say to the guys about that and how fired up were they about the game? No, it, I mean, it's, it is the most important game on our schedule because it's the one we're playing right now and that's the way we go every single week it doesn't matter who we're playing but that's the most important game and Hilliard Davidson is the most important game on our, on our brief schedule right now because it's the one we're playing this Friday and that's the way we approach it we approach every week the same everybody is good everybody is coached really well Davidson's a physical team and they'll come at you and like I said they do a great job coach on the offensive the defensive side of the ball and special teams and they're coached really well so we gotta be really ready to play against a good team right and then I want to also go back to what Howard said earlier and I'm sure you praised on it um, one of the things he told me was back on Wednesday you have three given practices and a game left and that is it mm -hmm. you don't have any other time left um, how have you kind of praised that, and what have you said to your players? No, I mean, it's 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 win in advance. Now now it's a survival thing. I mean, everybody in the state is 0-0, and, and, like, there's there's no favorites. There's no underdogs. You know, everybody is fighting for their lives now for their playoff lives. And so you come out and compete and win, you advance. If you, do, if you don't come out and compete, you're not going to advance. So, I mean, that's pretty much my speech all week long. we got to come compete for four quarters, and then we have a shot. And then – Going off track with the Davidson game, um, this season is the first winning season for Grove City since 2013. Um, like you said before the season, you want to change the culture. Um, obviously, a goal of yours is also to win the OCC, and going six and four is a good track towards that. Um, how did you feel to be the coach of that first winning team in that no. long? And, and six and four is good, okay, but it's not great. And, and right. we, we expect more from our kids, and our kids expect more from themselves because our kids are not satisfied with the six and four season. We know we got to be better, and I got to be better as a coach, and our coaches got to be better as coaches, and our players got to be better as players. And, um, and so, really, I mean, yeah, we're proud of our kids and what we've accomplished, but, you know, we are not satisfied. You know, we got to have more. We got to, our kids want more. And, that, and that's a good thing. It's not like they're just going, oh, six and four, boy, that's great. That's not great. It's, it's, it's good, but it's not great. And, you know, our kids are really hungry, and they want more, you know, as we do as coaches. So, you know, we'll approach it that way and, and just keep on trying to get better every single day. Absolutely, Coach. And like our schedule has shown, um, there's a lot of stuff that we learn throughout the season playing different guys and especially the powerhouses as well. Um, Coach, any last thoughts? No, it's just, well, you know, we, we love our kids. We, lo we know we love Grove City High School. Our fans are like the second to none. Our fans are the best fans in the world. We got the best band in the land. And so like, you know, this, is, this, has, been a, this has been a fun season, but you know, it's, it's, hopefully it's not over. Hopefully we got, we got several more weeks to go and continue to play and get better for our young kids. They can keep practicing and practicing and practicing to get better for the future. But, you know, it, it's been great. I mean, we, we've had a great time. Our coaches have been great, and we love our players. Our players are a great group of kids. They're fun to be around. Well, Coach, thank you very much for doing this brief interview. I know it was, like, a little bit late, but I know I can just come out and do this interview. It's great to be out here, and go dogs. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot, Buzz. All right, brother.